All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makarkudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule impeccably well. Shalom to the hopeful elect pushing his truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. This is the brother Yakanan from the GMS England branch. This will serve as a brief video based upon this clip that you see here on the screen. This was taken from worldstar.com and is entitled Disturbing. Man kills his three children and then himself while live streaming. Moment before the tragedy with kids crying. Okay? And um, this is basically, you know, another stark example of how a woman is able to drive a man completely out of his wits. Alright? Completely out of his mind, you know, as the scripture says. And... You know, upon extrapolation, you know, from listening to what he was saying in the video, it seems to be a, a situation, you know, of no surprise of adultery, all right? And I believe, you know, if I heard correctly, that, you know, she um slept with one of his close friends and was also, you know, dealing with many other men, you know, at the same time and gave him, you know, STDs, so on and so forth. Which just shows you that, you know, this kingdom, you know, this wicked, adulterous generation, you know, this wicked kingdom, you know, has to be destroyed, all right? As it tells us in Amos 9 and 8, you know, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom, and he shall destroy it from off of the face of the earth, all right? Because, you know, the things that are, you know, happening, you know, in this kingdom, you know, the things that are taking place is, um you know very wicked, all right, very, very abominable and unacceptable in the eyes of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that's why ultimately, you know, this kingdom is going to be be destroyed and, you know, the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, a righteous kingdom, is going to be set up upon the face of the earth, all right? Now, you know, let me play, you know, this video and then, um, you know, we'll get into a few other scriptures Lord willing, all right. This is so fun. Look at my son right here. I just told him I'm finna kill his ass. You hear me? That's fucking fucked up, cuz on my soul, nigga. But see, they are, everybody think I'm joking, right? I'm playing, right? Everybody think I'm fucking playing, right? Right, okay. Uh, this is gonna be the last time, this be the last video I make, nigga. God rest my soul. Uh, Wook, over your foreman, you are uh, responsible for your, for your part in this, too. You chose to be a destroyer, right? It's okay, fine. You hold this. Take this with you. Uh, Tater, um, wow. Wow! Wow, nigga! After everything I gave you, cuz. After everything, all I wanted was a conversation, nigga. I told you, nigga! Now you can hear, um, you know, the anger, you know, and the fury in his voice. And you can also hear, you know, the children crying in the background, all right? Because he actually told, you know, his children that, you know, I'm, I'm basically going to kill you. All right, and this is a terrible thing, but ultimately, you know, we can go to the scriptures in order to draw edification for what's happening in the in these situations. All right, now this is Sirach 39 verse 28, and it reads, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. All right. So this man right here, all right, is a spirit, all right, that was created for vengeance, all right, upon himself and, you know, upon his three children, all right. Now, you know, one might think, you know, that's not um, enlightened, you know, with this wisdom, knowledge and understanding. One might think that, you know, this was unfair on the children because they're innocent. But remember, what does it tell us in the book of Job? Whoever perish being innocent all right no one is innocent all right the scriptures tell us that there is nothing new under the sun all right so there's no spirit all right that's walking around today upon the earth that is new all right that is fresh all right that hasn't lived you know a life in the past okay everyone you know is reincarnated man 
All right, so when you see, you know, these dreadful things happening upon the face of the earth, just know that them things were deserved and sanctioned through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Kadash. All right, even a newborn baby. All right, a newborn baby. Yeah, the, the flesh, you know, is new. All right, but the spirit. All right, was um here before. All right, and lived the life before and died and came back again. All right, over and over again. Okay, so anything that happens upon the face of the earth, all right, that's through the spirit and power and the judgment of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, now let me read that again. So up 39 and 28, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which is in which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So they appease the wrath of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So this judgment, all right, was sanctioned by the Lord. Okay, now whoever was affected, you know, emotionally, okay, that's through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that judgment, all right, is righteous. Okay? Let me go a little bit back and play again. Nigga, I told you, nigga. All you had to do was talk to me, nigga. All I wanted was conversation. That's it. I wanted to be one. Now you see the wrath and you see the anger, you know, in his countenance and in his voice. You hear the, the anger in his voice. All right, now let's go to um, Proverbs chapter 6 and um, verse 34, all right? Because this is regarding adultery, all right? Now, Proverbs 6 and 34, it says, For jealousy is the rage of a man, therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance, all right? So jealousy is the rage of a man, all right? And that's exactly what you're seeing in this video, all right? You're seeing the rage of a man that has been scorned with jealousy, okay? Because his woman, you know, has been playing the harlot and sleeping around with every Tom, Dick, and Harry, as they would say, okay? So this is the ramifications, you know, of that situation, all right? Which, you know, as we know, this guy is off, all right? This guy is completely out of his mind and has been driven to insanity, all right? And this, this kingdom has got to go, man, all right? This, this wicked kingdom, Esau Edom's establishment, all right, has got to go. All right, because adultery is celebrated in this kingdom. Okay, adultery is celebrated in this kingdom, and there's no ramifications according to the law for adultery in Esau's kingdom. Okay, what does the scriptures say? All right, a, a man, you know, that commits adultery of another man's um, woman, you know, that man's supposed to be put to death, and a woman also is supposed to be put to death. All right, but these things are not upheld and established. In Esau's kingdom, all right, which that's how you know Esau is a fraud, okay, because he, he he will have, he will allow people to swear upon the Bible in his court system, but he doesn't establish the laws of Yahweh Barshim Yahushai in his system, all right, because he's a hypocrite. Let's go back to the video. I'm in enough to look me in my fucking eyes, nigga. For 13 years of my life, nigga, give it to you, <laughs> nigga, and 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 and, and, and cut me loose. Look me in my face and break me loose, nigga. Look, break my heart. Look me in my eyes and break my heart, nigga. You can see, you know, this man has completely lost it. All right? You know, he has completely lost it and he's, he's, he's void right now. All right? He's gone. Okay? This guy is completely gone. All right? And that's the power of, um, of giving your um, strength onto a woman. Let me get that right quick. I have it loaded up. Proverbs chapter 31 and verse 3. Give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. Alright, so give not thy strength unto women, nor thy ways to, to that which destroyeth kings. Alright, and we've seen many examples, you know, throughout history, alright, of men that have given them their strength, you know, unto women and have been destroyed. Alright, we've seen many examples of that, you know, you see it in films, all right? You can read it in accounts in history. You can read it in the Holy Scriptures of examples of how women, all right, have destroyed men because men have given them power to do so, okay? It's all over, you know, um, it's all over the earth, all right? Various different accounts, okay? And this, that's exactly what would happen. You'll be destroyed, all right? Let me go back to the video. But you couldn't do it. You can do it. You want to go lay up with niggas and uh and get fucked and, and nigga, whatever the case. You're slick, my nigga. You lied, my nigga. You're a, you're a habitual cheater, my nigga. And you have 
giving yourself to men, you've given me STD behind this shit. Like, I'm not paranoid, cuz. You hear me? You fuck another niggas recklessly. Now, you can see, you know, where the rage is coming from. You know, this man was obviously, obviously catching hell. But, you know, what does the children have to do with that? All right? What did the children have to do with that? You know, why would he have to, um, you know, kill, you know, his three children, you know, in order to, um, <laughs> in order to uh, prove a point? All right? But again, you know, that's the judgment of Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shai. All right? This was ultimately the judgment of Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shai. All right? And he, this guy was, you know, emotionally, you know, unstable and was unable to basically carry on without, without living, you know, without that particular woman in his life. And that's how a woman can destroy you, all right? Because you get so encapsulated and um, infatuated, you know, with a woman that you believe that that's the only woman, you know, you can ever deal with. We're in the kingdom, we're going to have multiple wives and we're going to have concubines, okay? <laughs> you know, our mindset is, is, is going to be completely, all right, different from what it is now, all right? We're going to have many women, we're going to have many wives, okay? And, um, you know, we're going to be, be living totally different in the kingdom of Yahweh Barshim Yahweh Shai. All right. This kingdom is low level. All right. And, 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 and the, the average, you know, mind of the average Jake, you know, the average Israelite man that's not enlightened with his truth is completely low. All right. Low level, you know, to the point where you will kill yourself and kill your free children, you know, just because, you know, a particular woman, you know, has, um, has done you has done you dirty, all right? Which of course, you know, again, you know, in the law, you know, this is punishable by death, okay? In the law of the Holy Bible. However, you know, again, this is a wicked and sinful generation. And, you know, that's the beauty of having this truth. All right. When you have this truth, you know, you won't be surprised when these things before you. All right. Now you'll be hurt, you know, you go through the motions, so on and so forth, but then you understand that, okay, this is in the scriptures. And the reason this is happening is because we're not in our own kingdom, all right? And, you know, as the scripture says, you know, a woman shall compass a man, all right? That's why ultimately these things are taking place. So this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, it comforts you, okay? The wisdom of the scriptures comforts you and it gives you, you know, understanding on why you're in the predicament that you're in and how to deal with it, all right? Now the scriptures say, you know, wait, wait ye upon me until I rise up to the prey, Okay, now that's, you know, that's talking about, you know, the other nations and our enemy, you know, our primary enemy, Esau, Edom. But it also goes out to, um you know, the wicked Israelites too, all right? Because this guy took vengeance into his own hands and that's something that he shouldn't have done, all right? He should have just disappeared from the situation and, you know, waited, you know, for Yahweh Barshim Yahushai to judge her. But again, you know, this man is not enlightened with the wisdom, knowledge and understanding of Yahweh Barshim Yahushai. And that's why it played out in this fashion. All right. I forgave you for it. You won't even come home, baby. You won't even come home like I'm a sucker. So watch this, Dana. Watch this. Yeah. And 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 and, and uh, Carrie, the city neighborhood is in. And that's it. That's the news report. You know, going into the story. All right. And this is um, you know, taken from Yahoo. This was um, you know, the report. You know, on what happened. It's funny that none of these news reports. You know, they don't mention anything that he was talking about in the video you know they don't mention you know the adultery you know why he done what he done because they don't want to push that all right because again you know um adultery is um celebrated in this kingdom all right and it's not looked at as a problem all right so um let me get a few more scriptures and then we'll close out this is um first estrus chapter four and i'm going to get straight to the point i'm not going to read through all of this and um At verse 26, and it says, Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits, all right, meaning your, you know, your mental, you know, clarity for women and become servants for their sakes. Many also have perished and erred and sinned for women, all right, and that's exactly what happened to this man. He perished, all right, he took his own life, all right, because, you know, he went out of his wits, you know, for this woman, all right, that was the um, mother of his children. Okay, so that just shows you, you know, the depths and the level that, that you can be driven to, all right, if you don't have, you know, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, in these last days, 
all right so with that lord willing this um this video was edifying until the next time i'll say shalom